Okay, I just want to go over um, some things that uh, Century College does better with their information technology programs. And, well, anyway, w the difference between Century College and Inverhills and w what each of them uh, do better and worse. Um, so, let's just, let me first start out with how each program works. So, here's information telecommunications technology. Now, what what they require is they obviously require you know generals, 20 credits of generals. So I won't get into that. What I'm mostly concerned about is here they have 31 credits of classes that are required if you want to graduate an ITT. And then if you go down a little bit further on, the, just keep fo follow the left hand side here. You get specialty track, okay, which takes you up here to the right. You can see all the specialty tracks. Advanced networking, which is basically CCNP, and then there's one elective. There's security. There's Microsoft. There is storage area networking. You can see there's the generals. Uh, there's VoIP. Um, we have um, Green IT. Um, and now down below, there's just the standalone certificates. Same thing ho here over in enterprise computing. This has more to do with um, the computers and the servers, um, VMware, Linux operating systems, where this is going to have more to do with Cisco, storage area network, um, things like that. Infrastructure versus the uh, end devices, whether it be a server or um, server or or desktop and uh, of course you know virtualization and things like that that have come come about in the server industry okay so now we take a look at Inver Hills Inver Hills is pretty much set up the way most of the other Minsk schools are set up um, I really like this program matter of fact because it gives people more of a broad understanding of IT PC hardware and software uh, planning out your IT career Linux Windows clients, Windows servers, Active Directory, um, CCNA courses, um, CCMP1. Now that I believe does not need to be in there. I think that both Century and Inverhills could remove that as a requirement and put the CCNA wireless in there instead. Uh, but anyway, you have CCNA voice. That's an excellent one to require. CCNA security. So this has given somebody a really nice broad understanding and you really don't know what your first job is going to be. So this gives you um, basically skills in every area at a basic level to do a job. Okay, now you head over here. Now they have specialty tracks and certificates. So if you want to specialize in something, you have to get a degree first. Or if you just get the standalone certificate, you're going to have to take the prerequisites of the, of the certificates. So here we have advanced network security certificate. Now I don't know whether they just don't have enough trained um, instructors to teach this core, th this area, or what. But both Century and Inver Hills, in my opinion, fall short here. Let me just go over this. Linux. I don't think this has anything to do with security. Um, this, I think, believe, I believe it is concepts. Uh, this is more your hands-on, you get an advanced security, and here you got the capstone. Um, three of these courses are already in here, where if you go down to their VoIP, IP telephony, this is the only one that's in the degree. So I think that they're cutting things short in the security certificate, but nonetheless. Okay, so now you have, this is basically Century College Advanced Networking Specialty that they've got built into the degree over here, advanced networking. Um, this is, again, that Linux. Okay, that's 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 okay, I guess, because Cisco is very similar to Linux. Um, CCNA security. So these two are all, you already have them in the degree. They have the wireless. That kind of, I would agree that kind of fits there. Kind of doesn't fit anywhere else. Um, then you get routing and troubleshooting. And then you get your CCNP1. Now, like I said, I would move this over here the wireless one and move the CCNP1 over here. 
<coughs> um, IP telephony. This one is excellent. Now, what's the problem with all these? The problem with all these is that a lot of these classes, like this one, help desk. Students are going to take this one. Students are going to take this one. Students are taking this one. The problem is, is that this class, well, uh, well, other classes, the more advanced classes, I shouldn't say that one, but these usually all get canceled. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, some of these once in a while get canceled. You know, like the troubleshooting class or the routing class. Um, you'll notice that this one will get canceled a lot, this course. So Century has got a, pro a program set up to where they're not going to cancel a lot of courses, but there is an issue there as well. A lot of these courses will get canceled. This, this course hangs on by a thread. This course is having issues with enrollment. So there needs to be a better, a better method. Um, and also they're adding more and more areas to study in and they're trying to squeeze all this into a two-year degree. Not a lot of students want to take extra courses in, in a two-year degree because they don't see the advantage employers employers won't give them any um, additional credit for taking, you know, once you, once you get a two-year degree it's pretty much done. I mean you can study on your own, you can do a lot of other stuff and there's a lot of students out there who don't want to just do a two-year program but the problem is that then you do computer science or programming and you can probably get you know there's jobs in computer science and computer pro and database and all those other things so in my opinion it's it's time to start a networking um, two-year program now what I would do is Merge ITT and enterprise computing into one degree, just like what Inver Hills has, one degree. And now what you can do is you can ha add a, uh, I don't know if you can do this or not, but have like an applied bachelor's degree um, where you can pick and choose between different packages. So you could have, say, um, you could pick between, you know, I could pick between three of these. So let's just say if I do Cisco, let's just say if I, well, let's just say for example, if, if I want to pick IP telephony. Well, if I want to do the IP telephony one, I probably also want to do, um, I probably also want to do um, the um, um, advanced network technology certificate because this is the kind of, this is, this is also routing and switching. This is kind of, everything is based off of routing and switching. And then you can pick between IP telephony and two other ones. Now, let's say I'm a, more of a Microsoft person. Well, there, you know, maybe require everybody to do this, but then maybe you can have, you can go into more security in Microsoft. You can have, you know, you can go further down the mountain. The other problem is storage area networking. This is where Century College does a better job. I'm just going to look at my time here. Does a better job than Inver Hills, in my opinion. They do a better. They they, they have they have they actually offer these courses. That's the reason why they do a better job. Uh, this is an excellent excellent job market right here. The problem is I don't think that these three classes are enough to really go further far enough down the mountain to really understand storage area networking. You're going to need some more classes. So what I would so again I really think we need for a four year program in this field. Um, you know, as well as, you know, you know, Linux administrator. Again, we can go further down the mountain in Linux. I'm sure we can. All these areas we can go further down the mountain in. Um, some, of the, some of these maybe we can't. But what I'm proposing is, we ha is, is the two-year program should be an IT generalist. Look pretty much something like this, only with, I would think, the wireless class and maybe CCNA video rather than this, and you could add this in the four-year. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, my idea isn't perfect. You could you could modify it a little bit, but 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 in, in general, we need to have a two-year degree back to being a generalist, give you a good solid foundation of all the different technologies, 
And then once you have a, an understanding of it, now you pick a four-year program that looks more something like this, where you pick between, you know, again, you have different packages. You pick three of them, 15 credit packages where you pick three of them that match your skills the you know the the best the you know the best way you see fit there's a lot of there's a lot of them that that they'll ask for um they'll ask for uh for example your c c and p skills along with voip or along with even microsoft so i mean you can mix in i mean you can mix and match these as much as you want. In my opinion, build your own degree. Um, where here, I think we need to be very strict, and you take these classes, or you're, you're not going to graduate. Where here, we can be a little bit more flexible and say, pick three of them. You get your bat, 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 bachelor's of applied science, and um, maybe even pick four of them. I guess at 60 credits, and if there's no generals involved. Uh, you can pick four of them and really go deep down the mountain that students need. And again, I, I don't know how, most most of, most students are not picking these certificates. They're not. These are very 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 valuable skills. Um, this pretty much all of these are look really good to me. Um, the problem is is that students aren't enrolling in them. So I think it's time to. To have this to a four-year program rather than continuing to cram all this in in a two-year program, and and uh, have a lot of these courses get canceled. Now the other thing I just want to check the time here once again. Okay, is I would divide this up between what cent what does Century College do better, and what does Inver Hills do better. Now I don't know if. You know, I, I I believe this should be on the Century in Inverhills campus because they've already invested a lot of money in this technology. Um, so, um, yeah, I would have, but maybe they could be Metro State students, or maybe they can continue to be Century students. I don't know how that works. You know, again, I'm not I'm not a neck. I, I I'm I'm just I'm just speaking on. The, you know, this makes more sense for the job market. Um, I don't know all the academic politics that go in, that that are involved, um, and all the laws and all that stuff, all the bylaws and policies. I'm just kind of outlining what I what I see that should be different. But I basically think that, in general, that Inver Hills would be better to get it to go for the security. Where I don't think that. This at all? This 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 is not going to get you a security job. But yeah, sure. If you if you know some guy, you can get a security job. You can. It's always about who you know. But in reality, um, I just don't think that this gives students enough skills for the job market. The, now the other two. Now the other thing I I, I want to mention is these two classes here is basically. 2020 and 2025 is basically this course right here that's three credits. They're exactly the same thing. They use the Cisco Networking Academy. There's no difference. My opinion, they should add another course here. Um, they're getting away with splitting these up when these are really a, a, the same course, a three credit course they offer right here. Um, and I think, you know, again, Inverhill should be should be offering security, should be offering VoIP, where both schools could offer on campus the CCNP classes. They could offer the, all the Microsoft classes, but it really comes down to enrollment. Is there enough enrollment for both schools to have it? VoIP, I don't think so. I think VoIP needs to be at Inverhills, but this one, for example, could be at both schools. Um, and, and again, you can pick between three or four of these to add up to enough credits for a four-year degree. And that would lead to better jobs in Minnesota, more jobs in Minnesota, more businesses would stay here, and I guarantee you that um, we, would be putting, um, we would be putting ourselves, we would be taking ourselves out of the skills shortage, and we would put ourselves on a more sustainable footing for years to come.